So let's apply this voltage division concept with this example. Here we want to select the value of the resistor Rx so that the output voltage across this parallel combination of resistors is equal to 8 volts. We have a 2 kilo ohm connected in series to this parallel combination. So first we note that we have an R equivalent here. So R equivalent is equal to product of those two resistors, 10 kilo ohm, divided by the sum of those two resistors, Rx plus 10K. Okay, so if we note that this is, we can reduce this Rx and 10K comp combination that is in parallel to an R equivalent. And now we note this R equivalent is in series with this 2 kilo ohm resistor, so we can use the voltage division principle. So here our output voltage is 8 volts. Our input voltage is 10 volts. And we divide this 10 volts as follows, where we have R equivalent divided by the sum of 2K plus R EQ. Doing some algebra with this equation yields that the R equivalent turns out to be 8 kilo ohms. So you can see this, 8 kilo ohms divided by 10 kilo ohms is 4 fifths. 4 fifths times 10 is 40 over 5 or 8 volts. So that's our answer for our equivalent, which is 8 kilo ohms. Now we use this answer to find Rx, which is equal to 8 kilo ohms. And that turns out to be, doing some algebra, that Rx is equal to 40 kilo ohms. And we can check the answer. 40 times 10 is 400. 400 divided by 50 is 8 kilo ohms. So that's how we apply various analytical concepts, the concept of R equivalence and the concept of voltage division, to find what are unknown resistor values such that the output voltage is equal to 8 volts. So that's how we apply voltage division and the concept of R equivalence to analyze this circuit in terms of finding Rx. Here is another example of applying voltage division to this circuit. Here we have a circuit where we want to find the output voltage VO. Well, we should note that this is open right here. So the current through R3, that is the current through R3, is equal to zero. So all of the current that flows into this node goes here and then goes out through 3R3. Therefore, this is connected in series. Therefore, VO is equal to VS using the voltage division principle R2 divided by R1 plus R2. One way to see this is that since there is no current going through R3, there is no voltage drop across R3, therefore the voltage at this point is the same as this point. And we also note that all of the current going through R1 also flows through R2, therefore they're connected in series, and therefore we can use the voltage division principle.